spell red. Red. L S T E R. Continue on with this shitty Connecticut day. Um, so what I'll be doing is removing all the adhesive from from the Genesis Coupe logos. I got me some Goo Gone microfiber towels. Also, another quick thing: make sure that the paint is clean around the area because you don't want to be like introducing all the dirt and all that into the new or into the paint. Because um, once you clean off the adhesive, the paint's gonna be pretty much perfect. So. It's dirty like mine, you might want to clean that up a little bit. Also, I will be showing you what I picked up, um, the condition of the headlights. I also got a set of taillights on top of that, um, but they are BK1 taillights. I know nobody really wants those, but I'm about to be using it just to learn how to open them up, put them back together so that I can do the BK2 clears like successfully. Cause you know, I don't want to be going into this not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Cause usually that's, that's usually what, what it is every time I do anything on this car. Um, but I learn as I go. So why not learn on a set of taillights I don't care about that I'm not going to be using. So yeah. All right, so I just took a little bit of soapy water, microfiber, microfiber towel, and just rubbed it down a little bit. It's a little bit cleaner. So now you just take some glue on and you don't want to put it directly on to the paint you want to put it onto the microfiber um we are going to be sitting here for a little bit scrubbing at this but so grab a chair start scrubbing away <laughs> kind of sucks though i mean it's coming off it's just open a jar. Easy. Now, take the lid off the jar. Now, put it on the lid. No, the lid. The lid. This is actually the hardest model to open ever. So I'm going to address this sometime soon, but not right now. Um, this little rust patch, well not a little because it goes up top too, um, I believe it's because all the adhesive holding the wing there, like rotted away. Back to this, um, it is all gone, there is no more adhesive, this is just, I think, whatever the last, one of the last owners used to paint the emblem with, left over on the paint. Um, I'm gonna go with like my little clay bar and just get this off. So what I found easiest is to just let the, like the goo gun stick to it. Like, you know, get a microfiber towel, rub it on. And then um, 
let it sit for like, I'm gonna say five, 10 minutes. Um, and then honestly, just use your fingernail. So literally just, just like that. And it comes right off. Like, look at that. And yeah, I know the car is pretty freaking disgusting right now. I did just clean this one area on both sides so that it doesn't destroy the paint. But uh, yeah. I don't feel any stickiness, nothing that's a pretty smooth feeling. Same thing here. Um, I'll just get the clay bar and just clean up around this area with it. Um, but yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that looks really clean now. What I wanna do is get another Hyundai. It's like the silver Hyundai logo and get rid of this Genesis wing badge. Because I honestly just, I really don't like the look of this badge like at all <laughs> like every genesis coupe owner is about to be so mad at me right now because of that yeah so if any of you have a silver hyundai badge still left over somewhere let me know if you're in connecticut probably like 30 minutes away max from danbury um let me know i'll come meet up with you to come grab it look at this shit man that shit is terrible looks like in this leg day um, I am starting a new job soon, so I can start saving money to get some wheels, but these shits are no good. It's gotta go. Look at that. I honestly believe that because I don't got wheels, that's the reason why I haven't blown up yet. <laughs> like, imagine this car on some wed serbs, some serb dudes. Like, I'm about to Photoshop a quick picture right there. like serb twos or um ssr vienna courages like shit would go so crazy especially with how low i am like look at that anyways yeah so right now i'm gonna go inside and show you what i got for headlights and taillights for the car all right yo so these are the oem bk1 headlights that i got um bk1 taillights as well so these i'm really not going to use them for anything it's more like it's more like me using them for like testing purposes like i'm gonna be opening these up learning how to put them back together um cleaning up the taillights a little bit so because what i want to do is i want to take the bk2 taillights and do clears like bk2 taillights are honestly the best looking taillights for the jenny in my opinion, at least. And then for the BK1 headlights, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be cleaning it up. I'm going to, I don't know if I wanna black out the housing, including this too. Um, I am gonna do clear corners for sure. But, so, clean up the lens. I might keep it silver inside, I don't know. Um, but if anything, it'll probably go black out inside clear corners for sure clean up the lenses and i might run these on my jenny because i'm kind of tired of the spec d look um i do like them i love the sequentials too but i kind of want to switch it up for a little bit see how i like this instead plus like i am kind of trying to go for like a um almost like a oem plus ish kind of build i do want to keep it relatively like stock looking on the outside um just little minor cosmetic upgrades like i have a lip i have the side skirt extensions um i'm thinking about getting rid of the like the rear diffuser on the rear bumper um i am going to be fixing that rust spot on the trunk um i'm either going to go wingless or i end up getting another trunk lip 
but one that's just a little bit bigger, nothing crazy. Um, I'll probably like insert the one that I want. What I want to do would be clear headlights, clear or OEM headlights with clear corners, um, clear tails, BK2 tails, have just a little front lip that I have. Um, eventually I also want to either paint or wrap the car. I honestly want to go with black just because, you know, it's simple. Um, I, I might, I've also been thinking about like a weird yellow color. Um, quite possibly could go with blue almost like the blue on this pillow here but i don't know if you guys have ever seen the uh, it's like a specific bk2 blue it's like a grayish blue that they came in uh that one is honestly like my favorite color for the jenny so i could possibly end up going with that but yeah i don't know let me know in the comments what you think or like put in the comments like some colors that you might like or you've seen um, then I should go look up, take a look at, you know, choose for the Jenny and stuff. But yeah, look, these are the headlights. They're in, like, relatively good condition. They're not cracked or nothing. Um, the housings are fine. It's just the lenses are faded and peeling. Um, I do want to do the clear corners, though, for sure. These, on the other hand, I'll pretty much just be, like, junking them honestly like do clears or open them up try and do something with them if they do end up coming out looking nice um i might honestly sell them um but that's only if they're still usable after i'm done with it but um all right so that's gonna wrap up today's video i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for some new content coming but yeah again thank you for watching uh, stay tuned for the next video go like comment and subscribe uh later